Hi parents and students, I'm going to show you how to log on to Myon and access thousands of books. Um, I'm using the Google Chrome web browser, but you're welcome to use any other web browser. It's, I just found that Google Chrome usually works really well. So I open up a new web browser and I'm going to type in myon.com. I'm going to go to my Myon login. Log Mine's pre-saved, so I'm just going to delete it and show you how you can search for the school. So you type in 17K316, and then you'll see Elijah J. Stroud pop up. Then you're going to type in your child's um, username. Teachers have all distributed these, but if you need it, you can dojo your classroom teacher, and they'll be able to give you this username. The usernames um, are all specific to different kids because this actually helps the teacher see how many books they're reading. I'm going to click on mine is my email. I'm not going to tell you what my password is, but as a... Um, it's not the same as the kids, but as a helpful hint, all students' passwords are the number one and the first two letters of their first name. So if my name was Andrew, I would be 1-A-N as my password. So I'm going to click sign in. My sign-in screen, when you sign in, it's going to look a little different than um, your child's might, but it's still, I'm going to be able to show you some of the features. Hit sign in. I'm going to go right up to library because all the students will be able to see this. And I'm going to go to Browse first. Browse is great because it has different genres. If you want to, your child like to read about math, you can read about math. Go to science. Maybe look up. We're going to be learning about the earth. So you might want to search some science topics. Um, sports and vehicles. There's a bunch of different genres. And when like, you click on genres, you'll see that there's subcategories in this. So adventure, chapter books, classic literature. You can really find so many things. I'm going to go back to browse real quick. Um, and then you can also, like I said, you can go to social studies. There's another many different um, categories you can look at. I'm going to go to search because um, I want to search, show you how you can search for a book. I know many of our students really like Katie Wu. You can search Katie Wu. Hit the little magnifying glass and there's many Katie Wu books. I had another search for In the Kitchen. That's a book we're going to be reading for a reader's workshop this week. Um, Tucker Bean in the Kitchen. You can add, um, I can look and see the info. It tells you a little bit about this book. It tells you about the Velexi level, the grade levels it's recommended for, the guide to reading level, page count, how long if you've had the audio on, what it would be. Um, and it gives you a little synopsis of the book. I can also click and see other details, reviews. Your child is also welcome to um, leave a review for this book. So if they liked it, they can say why, or if they didn't, they can also say why. Great for um, reiterating those opinion writing skills that we worked on in our last unit. So definitely check that out. I'm going to show you how I would read this book. I'm going to close this. I'm just go to here and hit read. So I'm going to start over. Tucker Bean in the kitchen. And I'm going to pause it real quick because I want to turn off the sound. Turn off the sound because I want to read this. Go to settings. Um, I can slow down the audio speed, make it faster. Slow it down for now because we're going to be seeing it. Close that. Hit play. I'm going to make this big. I don't know if you saw it, but you can actually go and skip through pages. Down here, you can zoom in if you want to like check out a picture. In this, it makes it bigger to fit the screen. I can just begin reading. I can click through and read um, through this book. Another thing I can do is I can use some tools, look up the dictionary. And if you read faster than this is great, you can read, but it's on slow, so it won't flip the page. 
I might also pause the book, not leave it on play, so this can um, help me read at my own speed. So please reach out if you have any more questions. Um, happy reading, and I hope you really enjoy my aunt.